there is pain in the land. I remember they stole a lot of masks from our ancient fathers to use the decorate their cities and people go there to go and visit meanwhile we have these things here so what is the essence so if the white people who brought the religions to us are taking our mask with the mask and most of those deities to their country to use as means of entertainment as uh, information or educational tourism. tourists we too here so we should use them we should also use it as stories there's nothing bad with it thank you sir okay uh Wow, there seems to be a lot of problem bedelving uh, Africa and, uh, and its youth. I'm wondering, what, 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 what's the African of your dream? Or uh, coming from Nigeria, the Nigeria of your dream, but what, what, what kind of we're talking on a continental level now. So what kind of Africa would you guys want to see? Yes, everybody like enjoyment. Africa of our dreams. Yes, we all have dreams from childhood. Like when I was a young boy, I want to be a pilot. I want to be, a, I want to study in abroad. I want to do this, I want to do that. Yes, we want to wake up in our Africa and see that there's peace, there's, there's, like nothing like insecurity there is uh, basic amenities free road we want africa that education will be free for people my name is um, Yeseke Emmanuel. okay i'm a student the african of your dream the african of my dream oh if i start explaining we will not live here today <laughs> <laughs> a working system that is what I want. Where I wake up, my rights will be my rights. Mm -hmm. I can't wake up and say, right, freedom of education, and I'm not going to school. Good election, where I will take my voter's card and we vote who I want to vote. Someone that will make me happy, that will create the dream. A free I am and dreaming. fair election, you mean? A free and fair election, the dream I'm dreaming. That person is meant to bring it. I don't see Amo. I don't see it. My dream is where I wake up to a good working Nigerian system where Nigerians are happy daily, where the constitution is working, where there are good roads. Mm -hmm. Corruption can end, but it should be minimized. Good religion, security, good education, all this is my dream and I know one day surely it will come true. Thank you. Okay, the young lady behind, the young lady behind. Okay, um, my name is Lawa Jennifer. Okay. I'm from Karuna State. Yeah. Um, the Africa of my dream, or should I say the Nigeria of my dream, but generally the Africa of my dream. Um, is a dream whereby um, do we actually know what love is? And I'm talking about like romantic type or whatever, you know, like the love in which Christ Himself actually pushes. Now, when it, when I say love, like do we can we actually love ourselves whereby regardless of where we come from, regardless of our tribe, our color, or whatever, can we actually support ourselves? Can you, can you support my vision? Whereby, I want to dream whereby the technology in Africa, or Nigeria to be precise, can be very, very broad, more than those in abroad. I don't want to go to school or hear other people say, ah, I want to go to abroad because the technology is more advanced. Can we advance ah, so that others abroad can come to us, to can cooperate with us, to actually let, like, to grow with us? Because I feel like when we have this kind of love within us, we won't be facing the problems that we're actually facing in our economy. And that starts with us. We have to build it. Thank you. Thank you. Good point. Let me take it to Nigeria of my dream. Our slogan, unity and faith, peace and progress. We are not benefiting from any of those things. We are not unified. 
the faith we have, we don't work towards actualizing it to reality. Peace, <laughs> we are scattered. Then progress, there's minimal progress in the country. So I want to Nigeria where the slogan can be, can be actually like actualized, can be actualized and brought to reality. And also, Bob Mali using the, the saying that um, none but ourselves can free our mind in the song. Um, that's a very powerful statement. I think that's a paradigm shift that all of us have to inculcate. None it, but ourselves can free our yeah, mind. But our, yeah. So can, 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 can we repeat it? None but, but ourselves, ourselves can, can free our, our minds. Mind. Louder now, please. None, None but, but ourselves can, can free, free our, our minds. Mind. Okay, so that's a paradigm shift that we all have to inculcate. It's not just by saying, it's also by doing. So when we have a mentality to achieve something, we go towards achieving it. We don't just say it, we make an effort a achieve. concrete effort to actually achieve it and um, I just pray I just pray that the leaders actually see the vision of the youths because in as much as they are fighting for their no pray that the youths mm. will have enough strength, strength. Yeah. to hoist the mm -hmm. old leaders yeah because and, and do away with their vision of course. so they can implement their own vision for Africa. Mm. That's what we're trying to say, right? Of yeah, yeah, sure. African youth, it's time to show your full chest. There's no gain saying that I, long, I love young people because I've had the singular privilege of meeting exceptional and outstanding youth in my lifetime. As a father to the youth, my mind has been restless and my soul has been starved by the media reports of how Africans are dying their huge numbers in the Mediterranean Sea and the desert of Africa, all in their desperation to escape poverty and deprivation, rocking their homeland. Oh God. We hear, see and read how many of my children, brothers and sisters, in a bid to escape the mega toxic environment of their country looking for greener pastures while living Africa empty. Talk about brain drain. While we hear all about these gory stories, the African youths are simply fed up and tired for their inability to fix this infrastructure. Now it's time to take action. I want to believe that is the exceptional African youth will reconstruct the Africa of their dreams. All well-meaning Pan-Africans, no matter where they reside, will rise to the occasion and find innovative ways of the present social, economic, social, cultural, and political quagma that is rocking Africa. They find a way around it inside this Poto Poto. Till I come your way next time, this is the area of father on street yans, the father of their fathers. This is the area of father, yes, on the street, because this is street yans.